Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Vlogmas Day One. the next three weeks until Christmas, I'm going to give you a product review, a bag review, and a look of the day. So that is what Vlogmas will be. Hopefully every video will be short. I'm keeping them raw, mostly unedited because I don't have time to edit every day. That's the beauty of Vlogmas. You get the real deal. You get the real personality. If you're new here, I'm Stacey Elaine. I make videos for the style-obsessed modern working woman. I would love if you you join the Girl Boss Beauty tribe. Come on, Pooh. Come on. Someone wanted to be in the day one Vlogmas video. This is my bestie, my Poo Poo, my Prince Mighty. He's nine and a half, almost 10 in March. And this is my Poo Poo. This is my son. And uh, I just love him so much. How cute is his hoodie? Oh, how cute. How cute. He has little dog bags in here. But Poo Poo, today's video is not about dogs. We're giving a bag review. We're giving a look of the day and we're giving a product review. And I will tell you that the product that I am reviewing today is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. It looks like this. It says use day and night to remove makeup, dirt, and impurities. That is why I started the video with all of this mascara under my eyes. All I wore today to work was uh, eyebrow products, <laughs> mascara, and then uh, that's it, sunscreen and all that. But I need to cleanse my face because I wanna get ready for bed. So we're going to do this. Poop, get down. Poop. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Poop, get down, come on. Y'all, he's like, I'm not getting down. Come on, go in the closet. Go, go in the closet. Okay, I will tell you that I have used this two nights prior to tonight, so this will be my third night. I am not impressed with this. Um, I will look up and put in the description box a link with the price of this product, but I got this product in my Sephora favorite um, Black on Beauty box. I really was uh, pleasantly surprised to see that Sephora had a box curated just for Black Owned Beauty. So I purchased this in the Sephora VIB sale um, and I thought it was a outstanding value. I'll also put that in the description box below as well. Now, just because it's Black Owned Don't Mean, I'm going to recommend it. I have not liked a lot of Fenty um beauty products in general but this is one where i think it's just not that effective in what it wants to do some other products are just not for my skin i have dry skin especially it's the winter now and i'm 39 years old i have aging skin you know me and re are not the same age i will tell you this definitely has a fragrance and it smells like candy and I'll put some on my hand so you can see it's like this pink color and I've been using like this much a very good amount of this product and it smells sweet so it definitely has a fragrance and it has colorant and I just don't know how great this is for the skin but I am the prior two nights, the previous two nights, I used this on wet skin as directed. It says uh, wet skin working to a lather rinse. That has not worked for me because the first day I had a full, full face of makeup. I'll show a picture 
if I have time to edit, I'll show a picture of my full face of makeup. I was testing out products for my own best of beauty for this time of the year. Um, and it was not effective in taking off that makeup. And then the other night, I just had on mascara, brow, lipstick, and sunscreen and everything, and it still left mascara behind. So here we are. I'm gonna try to use this now dry, but just know I have used it according to package instructions for two nights. And when I went back with my cotton ball and my micellar water, there was still lots of mascara on my eyes. I will tell you, I am wearing the Ilia mascara and it's in black, but I don't know why this is not taking it off. So I'm just gonna massage. It smells like melted down Starburst, like pink Starburst. And it has a very thick consistency. I actually like how it feels on my face. I like that it feels very creamy and smooth. It has a nice slip, kind of like when you have curly hair and you like that conditioner slippery feel. It definitely has that. I don't think it is hard to get it to spread over the face at all. You can see it does lather and I have been massaging it in just like this. Now I'm gonna rinse it off and we're gonna see how effective this was as a total cleanser like it claims to be. Make sure I get all of the cleanser off, all of the sunscreen. Um, I put so much on, it got in my eyes. However, there's very little on this towel. You won't be able to see it. The very, very little mascara is still on the towel. Alrighty, that's pretty good. So what I will say about this cleanser is, I don't think it's for me. Um, I like stuff that's more fragrance free or has some actives in it. Um, for a makeup remover, I actually just like doing a two-step. I start with the CeraVe Hydrating Micellar Water. I think this is extremely effective when I start and just remove my eye makeup with this. Okay, this is what is on. It's what my cotton pad looks like. So it's not pristine, but you know, I did have lots of brow products and everything on, right? So I like just using a micellar water and then using a cheapo um, cleanser. Right now, I've been using the L'Oreal Revitalift um, with 3.5% pure glycolic acid. It is fragrance free. Um, and yeah, so this is what I've been using. This is actually my skincare combo or my this is actually my cleansing combo that I've been using at night and I really do like it. But um, this, like right now, I have dry skin. My face does feel dry, like it feels dry. It wasn't as if it was moisturizing or anything like that. So I'm gonna spray my face just with some micellar water. Oh, <sighs> just to put the nutrients back in, but yeah.
that is my review of the day. It's of the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. I think getting a drugstore cleanser is just fine. I probably would not spend over $15 on a cleanser, even one that says Total Cleanser, because this is my third time using this and it pretty effectively got off the mascara, but you have to remember, I was really only wearing mascara and brow products today and sunscreen. So can you imagine how much of this I would have to use to remove my super brown um, matte, uh, foundation and lipstick and eyeliner and eyeshadow. Like it was very ineffective when I used it for that. I don't think it's a total cleanser. I think you should save your money. Sorry to Fenty Skin. I just like to give honest reviews because I know we work so hard for the coins and we need to just use it to buy the best of the best and not mediocrity and i think this is a little mediocre go to the drugstore get a uh, micellar water and then get a cheapo cleanser that's fragrance free that you know aligns with your skincare needs will totally cleanse your face and you can move on with life and have money to buy luxury bags the bag of the day and the reason why I'm doing these bag reviews is because I have so many bags and I have not given a proper review of the bags. So I will just give a probably few minute review every day. And then if you, puppy is trying to get out of the room. <laughs> and then if you want a longer, more thorough review of the bag every day, then I will do a standalone video after Vlogmas. So just leave in the comments if you would like more details on any bag that I show and I will happily do so. I love talking about handbags. So today's bag that I actually carried in the office was the Marc Jacobs Mini Cruiser Tote Bag. This is actually a bag that they sell in the outlets now. I don't think they are making it um, in department stores because they have replaced this bag with the Traveler tote bag, the one that says the tote bag. But this was the Marc Jacobs former design of a tote bag. Why did I buy this bag? Why did it make it home with me? I actually wanted the Louis Vuitton um, Damier. No, I wanted the Louis Vuitton all black emprunt leather um, Alma BB. And I was in the store and I was putting my stuff in the bag. And you know, the bag, I think it was like $2,300 at that time. And I was thinking, I just want a all leather black casual bag that's crossbody that has top handles. Why do I have to spend $2,300 on that? Like, that is ridiculous to me. So what I ended up doing was just leaving the Alma BB there. And the Alma BB is one of my, like, bags that I really, really want. I love the design, but I just can't get with the designs and the colorways that they keep putting in the bag. But I just left it there to think about it. I went across the street from the Galleria and the Houston Galleria, and I went into Marshall's across the street from the Houston Galleria, and I saw this bag, and I thought, girl, this is it. This is it, this bag. I think I paid $100 for the bag. I normally see the bag retail for about $200, $250, so that's a normal price for this bag. I love this bag. This was the first handbag that I bought when I broke my no buy at the beginning of 2020. If you don't know, I did an entire year of not, of not shopping in 2019 and I had a good list of things that I needed after that no buy and a black handbag was one of them. I don't have black handbags. I'm not someone that gravitates towards black handbags. I love colorful bags, really. And so this this scratched the itch that I had. Um, it is a pebbled leather. 
as you can see this pocket is great for going into the office because i keep i can keep my work badge right here there is no pocket on this side there are no feet on the bottom these are pretty long tassels so keep that in mind but they do make it easy when you have to zip in the bag the zips are the zippers are very smooth on this bag and i love the darker gold hardware <laughs> that is on the bag the sides of the bag are actually much higher than the um, space in which it holds your items but that also allows them to hide the rings the little rings here which the d ring goes on i will take it off so you can see what it looks like without that. So cute, cute little bag. It's about nine and a half inches wide. This is the perfect mini bag size for me. If it's everything that I need, I will show you what I have in this bag. Now, um, this is my work phone. It's an iPhone 12, I think. I think. And then I have... Some earbuds and headphones and then I have my wallet which is Louis Vuitton the Rosalie coin purse I will be doing a review over this my retainers because I finished my Invisalign can y'all believe I finished my Invisalign um my Fenty Beauty lip gloss I have a reusable straw because your girl does not get down with paper straws um, hand sanitizer because we know what's up. Mask, we know what's up. And this mask has a hole in it so you can actually drink a straw, drink, drink through a straw with your mask on. I don't be playing no games. Um, floss because we care about the teeth. Hand cream. <laughs> the Louis Vuitton pochette. I keep a mini toothbrush and toothpaste and my vaccination card and stuff like that in there. Tissues, Vaseline, lip therapy. I'll put some on right now. The bag has Marc Jacobs lining and where he just kind of monogram spells out Marc Jacobs and it's in black and white it's like a nylon lining which is really cool it has a zip pocket in the back and that's it so that is what fits in the bag this was the bag that I carried today I will try to carry a different bag every day so you get a fresh bag review let me know what you think if you have this bag or you've ever seen this bag and thought about getting it why did you get it why didn't you i really really like this bag and i'm really proud of myself for passing on getting the louis vuitton i'm a bb and just getting this one because y'all i saved so much money it made no sense to get the $2,300 Alma BB. And I think it's like $2,600 now. So that is my bag of the day. I will now show you my look of the day that I wore in the office this morning with said bag. <laughs> cleanser a bag review of the mark jacobs mini cruiser black gold hardware mm, pebbled leather really really cute bag really really love this and recommend this bag if you ever thought about getting it or if you're looking for a black mini bag 
I just really recommend this one. And also my J. Crew outfit today that I felt so feminine and tough at the same time. So comfy, so warm. I just really loved my outfit. And I hope you guys did too. Leave in the comments what you hope to see from me and Vlogmas this year. And I will definitely try to incorporate it as we go along um, the next three weeks. I hope you all are being safe and being well and being blessed. And like I always say in every video, I hope you are blessed to be a blessing, Girl Boss Beauties. And I'll see you in the next video.